so hello everyone my name is ravindra and i welcome you to my channel in this video we will see about plugins in dynamic 365 or in the model driven application this is very important thing in the dynamics okay in every interview at senior or for the junior okay all the levels this question is asked okay what is plugin how to use plugin so in this video we will covering from basic to the advanced level okay all about the plugin so let's see what is plugin okay any interviewer or anyone in organization can ask this question to you what is plugin so what should you answer a plugin in dynamics 365 is a piece of custom business logic written in dotnet or c sharp that extends or modifies the standard behavior of the platform it integrates with the dynamic 365 events framework allowing developers to execute custom logic in response to specific events that occur within the system okay a class library or assembly with a course means a plugin is essentially a dotnet class library or assembly that contains custom code that we return in our plugin this custom code runs on the server when specific events are triggered that events so that's why also plugin is also called as event driven execution okay event driven execution so plugins are designed to run in response to common events such as create update delete or assign thus events are associated with specific records within the dynamics 365 okay in the database means in this use case let's take some of the examples suppose you have a requirement to perform a complex tax related calculation automatically whenever certain feed such as revenue feed of contact record is entered or updated in this scenario you can write a plugin that triggers on the update event of a contact record when revenue feed is entered or modified the plugin will execute the custom logic to perform the tax related calculations okay. so this is the example let's we will create one plugin so let's we see the demo before that to create a plugins what roles are required to you okay so to create a plugin you require a system plus administrator role in your environment so you can be able to create a plugins let's see the execution pipeline of the plugins okay Plugins executed as a part of event execution pipeline, which consists of server stages like pre-validation, pre-operation, and the post-operation. Okay, so in these three stages, you can be add the data validation. You can be run your plugins, and you can perform your complex operations. Okay, by using plugins. Okay, so what is pre-validation? Okay, let's we see about the first stage. Okay, so this stage occur before the main event. Okay. As you see before the main event, these pre validations occur outside the database transaction. Okay, it's typically used for initial checks and validation that does not require a database transaction. It is useful for scenarios where you want to abort the operation based on certain conditions without incurring the cost of starting database transaction. Okay, and pre validation always runs before the security check. Okay, as I divided this you can be see okay and does not have the access to the transitions context so any change made here are not part of the transaction okay so once this operation is performed okay then rollback will not support okay but in the pre-operation well as post operation rollback is support okay let's be uh, seeing that that also okay mm. let's see about what is pre-operations okay so in the pre-operations this stage occur before a main event okay as you can be see but within the database context okay within the database transaction that's why it can be easily rolled back okay it is used for modifying validating the data before it gets persisted to the database okay so this uh, pipeline is occur like in this sequence okay so you can be validate your data okay in the pre operation as well as in the post operation it is suitable for the scenarios where you need to ensure the data integrity or modify the data before actual operation happens okay it runs after the security checks 
has access to the transactional context okay with the database and can cancel the operation by throwing an exception which will be roll back the transaction okay let's see the post operation main event i will discuss at the end okay so you can be understand it properly so in the post operation this stage occur after the main event and has been completed within the database transaction okay so post operation as well as the pre operation are occur within the database transaction these questions is asked most of the times in the interview so yeah. so which two operations occur within the database transaction pre operation as well as post operation and both can be roll back okay it is used for the operation that needs to place after the data has been saved to the database okay when record is created like if you are created one record okay like account record after that this any operation you have to perform okay at that stage you can be use the post operations okay it is suitable for scenarios okay then uh, what are the characteristics of the post operation so it runs within the transition context so any change made are the part of the transaction okay to the database can be access newly created or updated data can perform follow up operations such as updated relating records or calling external services if an exception is thrown the transaction can be rolled back so this all about the all three operations okay main event in the main event data insertion is happen okay so if you are add here any logic any other thing okay so that you cannot be add into a main event okay in the main event only data insertion is happen okay so in this stage you cannot be do anything or you cannot be write any plugins any custom code or any workflow in the main event okay so let's create a plugin here okay let's go and open a microsoft visual studio community edition okay can we see i just open and microsoft community visual studio okay 2022 okay so let's i go in the file new and just click on the project after creating project you just need to search here okay dot net framework okay let's click on the enter so we need class library dot net framework okay so you can be see here in this a project creating c sharp class library with dot d i i i okay so this standard you need to select and just click on the next here okay then just give the solution name so let's i give my pro jet okay and just uh, selecting here the framework okay you not need to select 4.7.2 okay before 4.7.1 will work fine okay so you just need to select the dot net framework 4.7.1 okay or before that you need to select then just simply click on the create here so our project is creating okay so you can be see a project is created with a public class okay so let's i go 